Breath of the Wild was such a big change to the Zelda franchise, but we already know that. The game brought in all sorts of new concepts and conventions to the Zelda franchise, and even breaking the Zelda formula itself. So we know Nintendo definitely weren't afraid to make changes with this game to the franchise. And as big and crazy as some of the changes they made may seem, there was actually some more crazier ideas that they thought about at some point in development. So, in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the concept ideas from whilst Breath of the Wild was still in development. Be sure to let me know how you think each concept could have changed the game, or how the concept could have worked itself. Also, real quick and random, this video is actually my 100th video, so that's kinda cool. And of course, a huge thank you to all of you for watching. Anyway, let's dive straight into what Breath of the Wild could have possibly been like. Alright, so to start us off, let's take a look at some of the crazy ideas they had from the design of the man himself, Link. Now, these concept ideas go from mild and just slightly different, all the way to stuff like this. So, we know Nintendo didn't back down when it came to their crazy ideas, which isn't unknown of them. If we look at some of the more basic designs, we can see the team had some sort of general idea of what Link would have looked like. As for example, in these two, he looks fairly similar to how he does in the final game. Now, we also have a few designs slightly more varied, such as these two designs. From the look of things, it would appear the Zelda team did still have Link in the green tunic in mind as well, as we can see from this design in specific. So, Nintendo did consider the classic green style tunic, and also had the blue champion's tunic in mind, but here is where they went a little bit crazy with their ideas. So, the Zelda team actually made concepts for a sort of guardian possessed or even infected Link, and one big notable detail is the Master Sword in its condition. As we can see, they had had it planned for the Master Sword to be broken at some point, which isn't completely out of the ordinary for the team, but definitely interesting to think about what they could have done with that idea. Now, of course, how does the Guardian-like features on his face and arm tie into this? Well, that, we really don't know as of yet, but who knows what sort of stuff could have been done with that idea, and how it actually happened. Also, how could this tie into the final boss battle? Surely there would be some sort of connection. If we go a bit further into this, and perhaps a little bit over the top, who knows, maybe Link's injuries were that bad they had to heal him using parts of the Guardian technology. But that's just thinking a bit too much into it now. Anyway, this concept just looks all round pretty badass to me, and would surely be epic if it was in the game itself. Now, let's take a look at some of the concepts from the environment of Breath of the Wild, which, as we all know, is one of the biggest features of the game. The huge open world that we explore in our journey. So, just like the Link concepts, we have some more mild and not too out of the ordinary concepts, such as this. Now, I'd say it's fairly safe to assume that this concept art must be from some sort of scene or memory in the game, as it is simply just Link taking shelter from the rain. However, we do have some more out there concepts, such as a concept bringing in the Minish. Now, the first time I saw this, I actually thought it was some sort of fan mod or something, but no, after some research, it was clear to me that this was actually one of the concepts the Zelda team looked at. Now, there is one more concept around the environment of the game that we kind of need to look at. So, we have this very questionable concept. Now, right away, I have no idea what this could be. It looks like a damn spaceship, and to some degree, it probably is. One thing I noticed is that it doesn't actually have the same Guardian-like design to it, like most of the enemies do in Breath of the Wild. So, this had to be something big when they thought about it. One more thing to note is that you can see the spaceship-like thing is attacking in some way, as we can see smoke from some sort of burning in the background, possibly from laser beams from this spaceship. It really is amazing to think about how all of these concepts could have impacted the game, and just how much one little thing, or big thing, could change the entire game. Now, we can't forget about the one, the only, Princess Zelda herself. 
Now, there wasn't as many crazy concepts with the princess, however, we do get a look at some of the looks the Zelda team thought about giving her, such as this Skyward Sword-like design, or at least I'd say it has a sort of Skyward Sword vibe to it, especially with the clothes. Then, we have another fairly basic looking design, which, to be fair, they can't really do anything too crazy with her design for this game. There is also this concept of Zelda with shorter hair, which is also pretty cool in my opinion, as she's mostly seen with longer hair throughout the franchise. So, as for Zelda, there wasn't that many crazy concepts, just a few variations in her design. Now, just a few last things. It actually appears the team had the whole bike concept in place before even creating the base game, as we can see from this concept art. Obviously, there has been some pretty big changes to the design of the bike itself, but this is still pretty cool to look at. Along with this, the team actually created some sort of Zelda Metroid crossover design. The design is all round out of the ordinary, and how could this even work? It is likely this would have been used for something else, and perhaps might not even have been intended for Breath of the Wild, as I really can't think of any ways this could be tied into the game, unless it was planned DLC that was eventually scrapped at some point. Now, this last part isn't exactly a concept, but I found it along with all the concept art while I was researching, and thought it was pretty cool. That is, during the development of Breath of the Wild, the Zelda team actually created a 2D Breath of the Wild-like game, to try and come up with new ideas and try to convert them into the 3D game. That alone to me is pretty awesome and thought I'd mention it. Well, that's some of the concept ideas from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There was definitely some very interesting and unique concepts that would have been interesting to see in the final game, but who knows, we could see some of them in the future of Zelda games. But for now, we could only speculate about how they could have worked in the game. Be sure to leave your thoughts on these concepts and how you believe they could have worked in the comments, along with your favourite concept from the video, I'm really interested to know. For me, I'd have to choose the Link and Guardian combo, as that was pretty damn awesome. To stay up to date and talk to me and a bunch of other awesome Zelda fans, be sure to join the Discord server through the link below. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social medias as well. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the video, it means a lot to me if you did. Thanks for checking out the video, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.